Hi everyone, my name is Nicole, aka Siobhan Love, and today's video is going to be my everyday makeup routine. So if you like what you see, keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'm starting off with my concealer from Maybelline New York in the color Tan Haller or Holler in 45. Um, the so I'm just going to put it right up under my eye. And this look usually only takes me like 10, 15 minutes, depending on if I'm taking my time or if I'm in a rush. If I'm taking my time, it might take me a little bit longer because I'm just like, do whatever I want. And on a normal day, I often will have on lashes already and then do everything. So then I also just dip a little here on the chin, on the forehead. I'll put some right underneath where I'm going to be placing my contour. And because I like to make sure that this, oh, I forgot to do my nose. Okay. Um, because I like to make sure that everything looks like my skin or my face still a little bit. I don't like to put the concealer after putting on foundation or putting on a ton of foundation and putting on um, my concealer. So I'm going to take a beauty blender. It's dirty, but I got it from Walmart. It's like $2 budget friendly item. So I'm just sticking it in the middle of where I put the concealer. I really don't like to put too, too much product. So sometimes if you look really closely, you can probably still see like dark marks that I have. And I'm okay with that because I don't want my whole face to like be totally different. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm using L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. Um, it has sunscreen, FPF. The color I have, I have 525... I don't know what the color is. And I'll just put it here on the side. Fried, dyed, and dip to the side. So I like to put it right up in there. Right up above my lip. And I also like to put it here, around here on the outside. My bathroom lighting is better, but I don't want to hog up the bathroom, and I don't like the background in there, because there's going to be a floral shower curtain. Mm -mm. Like, I don't want that. So this is kind of damp. It's not totally damp. I did use my spray bottle, because I didn't feel like going out to the bathroom. Um, and you just kind of, like, pat it in there. I think most of us probably know how to get this stuff on. So I'm just going to use whatever's left in my hand. Pop it in there. And in there. Okay. And then what I do is I put whatever's left in my... I use the opposite side. Oh, hold on a second. I like to get my chin area. So then I use the opposite side to blend the concealer on my chin, my forehead. I don't use it like, I don't like my blender to be super, super wet, but I don't want it to be dry either. So I like the consistency of the concealer that I use if you let it sit um, for a few moments. Um, I feel like you get more coverage that way. Otherwise, sometimes it can come off a little bit more watery. Granted, I do feel they changed the... Um, ingredients a little bit because I do feel like when I used to buy back in the day it used to be kind of watery but I think that most concealers work best as far as coverage goes if you let it sit for a few okay and I do like to kind of pull some some on my lids okay all right so the next thing that I like to do um 
I like to use where's my brush? Oh. So I use the e.l.f. highlighting brush. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. And then I use the Airspun Loose Powder from Walmart. It's like six dollars. Um, and I just I used to bake. I don't bake as often now. Um, and it's not because it's not on trend, but I do like to bake just because. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I like to bake because I get oily, but I don't know. It hasn't been too bad just kind of pressing it in. So that's what I'm doing today. And that's what I have been doing for the last couple weeks. I've just been pressing the powder in and it's been lasting me pretty good. I haven't been getting too oily or as oily. So I'm putting it on all the areas where I put the concealer. I think I just want to get some light on my mirror here. Just so I can see just a tad bit better. Okay. So, after I've done that, um, sometimes I like to use, I like to let it sit, but today I'm not going to do that. So, now I'm just going to go in with my Black Radiance Press Powder in the Color Cafe. Get this from your local Walmart. This is like a very budget friendly, all my makeup stuff most of the time is budget friendly. So I'm just using this brush. I got a pack of brushes from Amazon like this. I wanted to do a haul with all the stuff that I bought, but I bought a lot of stuff. It was taking so long. I was like, mm, I don't know. So I just dab basically right on top of the area that I used the foundation on and then a little bit higher. And then I'll get around the edge. And I'll do that right there up on my jawline. And it might look like a lot right now, but it's not going to stay that way. And then I'll just a little something, something on the nose. I used to contour my nose a lot. I don't do it as much now. I like my nose the way it is, and I don't feel like it needs to be snatched any more than it already is. Like, it's not extra snatched or nothing, but I like it the way, it's, the way it is. So then the next, um product i am using is black radiance soft focus finishing powder um it's cream bronze it's a creamy bronze finish by the way i did just buy both of these products alongside the brushes um so i bought the black radiance products from walmart and then i bought the brushes the pack of brushes it has face brushes and eyeshadow brushes I bought them from Amazon um, and I am just using the same brush that I use for the setting powder back on my face and I'm just patting it all in those same spots because um, I don't want any flashback or none of those things um, and I'm just going to put that right there and I do like to place this a little bit on top of like the area that I have contoured just to give it more of a natural look okay all right so now that i've done that i'm gonna go in with my other new product that i bought the same day i bought this blush from black radiance it's artist oh mm, it's toasted almond i was about to read something that doesn't even matter um so the brushes that i got from amazon they don't have names. They're just really pretty and just have like this rhinestone type of look. They don't have names or brushes or anything. So I'm just using, this is another one. And I'm using it with the blush. And this blush does not come off heavy. 
Um, so it's definitely buildable. Okay. And you don't really need a lot anyway, right? You know, we're melanated. We don't need all that. Um, so the next thing, the next thing that I'm going to do <clears throat> Oops. is get my eyeshadow palette. So I hadn't been wearing eyeshadow a lot lately, but I decided that I want to. Oh, I, I don't, nope, nope, nope. I'm going to do my brows first, and then I'm going to do the eyeshadow. But the palette I'm going to be using today is the Jaclyn Hill palette um, collab with Morphe. It is the volume two. I do have both palettes because they're amazing. And I like this one even better. It gives me nice um, sunset, summer sunset type vibes and all that. So my brows were done like almost four four weeks ago six weeks ago i didn't need to get them done soon but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and use my salon perfect brow gel pomade it's a pomade um hope y'all can see me and i do just like to brush my brows and then go in at the tail and kind of leave the front in a way to fend for itself just because i like it to look like my own brow so hopefully you guys can see that originally i was planning to just do like a brow tutorial but i don't have to do as much these days like i haven't even been putting concealer at the edge of my brows but i might need need to after what i just did here because that did not come up right but yeah, so I like to put on the edge and then put a little something, something in the middle and then just brush the rest out because I actually like the natural shape of my brow. All right. Okay. And the spoolie is, oh, the brow pomade is from Walmart and the spoolie is from Walmart as well. It's e.l.f. Now we're doing eyeshadow. So today, like I said, Jaclyn Hill, volume two. I bought, so this is another palette I recently bought. I also bought another palette from Morphe. It's the 39L um, or 39L. I don't really, I don't like, mm, I don't know. They're okay. They're, it's, that's not my favorite palette. Um, that's, I think that might be for another video. So I want to keep this pretty, I like to keep it kind of subtle if I can, but these colors are so beautiful. Like, ooh, look at this. This bad boy is gorgeous. So I'm going to start off with the color G Money, which is this right here. So basically, my everyday eye, eye look sometimes is different, um, and other days I don't do anything with my eyes. Some days I just put some bronzer on it and call it a day, and I use this brush. This is from Wet n Wild, um, and I got this brush from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I bought two of them the same day. So I'm just using G Money on like my crease area. I feel like it's a pretty good transition type of color. Okay. And I'm just gonna use this brush from Amazon. And I think I'm gonna go in with the color Home Body. Home Body right here um i'm just gonna tap some of that off because i'm gonna lose this color real quick all right i think i used this color the other day all right that was a fail i don't know where i was going with that but i was just gonna put it on on top of there 
I'm gonna just go through with the whole wig. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. It's still pretty neutral. And I'm just gonna go and do the same thing. Oops. Um. So I am still using home body. In case you guys were wondering. Um, and then I'm going to use my smudge brush from e.l.f. It looks like this. And I'm going to use the color Talia. No, I'm going to use Flawed and Odd. So I'm going to use this one right here. Can you, right here. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. I hope that was in there. thing about these shimmers is after a little while the color is going to wear off anyway throughout the day I think well at least they usually do I use this one but I used it lightly the last time I used it so we'll see but I just put that right in the front um it's got really good color payoff for a color that doesn't have that's a shimmer and doesn't have any primer underneath So, like I said before, when it comes to my everyday makeup look, really the everyday makeup look that nothing that never changes is the face. When it comes to my eyes, it's freelance every day, so you never know what the eyes are going to look like. Um, and then I'm just going to take this little crease, eye crease brush from e.l.f., got it from Walmart, and I'm going to dab it into heart on and I'm gonna just put it right on my waterline there right up under there I love that because it gives it like a look it's such a look now I did this look the other day it wasn't this exact look but it was like no shimmers and no lashes and I just I loved it I wish I had taken a picture and like or something just I don't know it was I thought it was like the cutest thing in all honesty I don't even think I'm gonna put on lashes with this look you could wear lashes if you wanted to but I'm at the point I've been wearing lashes a lot lately so I'm kind of giving lashes a little bitty break Um, yeah, and I'd love to add some, like, positive tea. I'm going to put positive tea here at the edge. The color positive tea is what I'm putting on right now. Just to kind of, like. Dance party. I'm gonna put dance party on right here to make us a little more lively. Yeah. So anyway, my everyday look, like I said, the eye look always changes, but everything else on the face always stays the same. All right. So did 
I put that plastic back in here? Because all cats did. I don't know how to just like do calm looks on a regular basis. But I don't have to, I don't have the patience for lashes right now. What I will say is that the next thing I would always do is do setting spray. On a regular day, I would use the e.l.f. matte blotting mist from Walmart for eight bucks and Rimmel Stay Matte um, Fix and Go. I usually use those together. Since I'm not going out the house, I don't want to use the last of my goodies because I forgot that that's what I needed when I went to the store and I'm not going to the store again. So I'm gonna use Hard Candy's Matte 12 Hour Wear for Hydration. Where's the spray? We're almost finished. Um, is this one of those ones that have like, I hope this isn't, don't tell me this is one of those ones. This is like, so, okay, I thought it was going to be like this. Um, this mattifying spray, you do have to mix it up. You have to shake it up before you use it because there's clay in it. Because if you don't, you're going to have a bunch of white dots and it's going to be really hard to get rid of. Um, so, at the moment, I'm just going to use Wet n Wild's Mega Volume Mascara. I usually like to use, um, I think it's L'Oreal, L'Oreal one, but I don't know what I did with it. I don't think I opened it. <laughs> ah, amazing. I hear you're supposed to let um, mascara dry first and then flake it off. That's what I've heard from people. So I guess we're going to find out the truth today because I really just got mascara on my eye. I feel like some things only happen when you're recording and trying to get your life together. Because Lord knows it's taking everything in me not to get a Q-tip and just take it off. So I have this thing when I use mascara so my eyelashes don't clump. You like go back and forth. I don't know if you guys know that trick. So it kind of keeps the volume. So you just be like, mm, mm. I read that somewhere. I don't know where, but I did. I also read this thing one time to get more volume in the lashes or like length. You put on the um, mascara, then you put some powder on your lashes, then you go in again and do it again. And it does kind of elongate your lashes a bit. It makes them like more visible. But I kind of want this to be subtle and fun and springy. I don't like that one. It's almost there. Move over our head. Did I get mascara on my sleeve? Oh, I got stuff on my sleeve. I literally just got this. I am that person. Oops, just doesn't go there. I am that person to like, get things all over the place. Like, I don't even know how I did that. Let me see if I can get this. Click. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, where's my beauty blender? Let's just like move. I ain't got time for that. Okay. And then the last step is highlighter. I never skip highlighter. So I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Awesome Blossom. Wet n Wild had the first highlighter I ever bought, and it was in the color. Precious petals. Precious petals. The highlighter is popping. And only other really, really amazing highlighter I would say is Master Chrome from Maybelline. Oh, this is amazing. I love the powder. Um, but I have a lot of highlighters, so I try to keep that to a minimum. And I'm just gonna use. My elf powder brush. I go just like 
that. I like to do a C. And another C. And a nose tip. Fill them up. And right here, on the bridge, with some something. And then my smudge brush that has eyeshadow on it. So that should be fun. So we go right. I like to do right up under there. A little something, something. And this might seem like a lot to some people. Um, you can always see my highlight from a mile away. I try to like keep it to a minimum, but <sighs> I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I was just whispering, but I said I love to do my highlighter, and it might be a lot to some of you guys, but I just I love highlight. Um, and then my last step is literally just some lip gloss, like. This is the look. My go-to is the Bath and Body Works lip gloss. Don't y'all run to the store and try to buy this either when the stores open back up. Like, okay. On an average day, because I work, gloss is usually just what it is. It's easiest. It's just easy. Okay, beautiful people. So this is the finished look. Like I said before, um, I usually just finish my look with some lip gloss and call it a day. Um, try not to do too much, especially when you have like a little sort of kind of intense eye. Um, and like I said before, you can always glam up this look with um, some mascara, but I mean, not mascara, I have a mascara. You can always.